What's up? <laughs> so, uh, a couple months ago, I made an online class called What is the Gospel? How the good news of Jesus of Nazareth is really about the restoration of everyone and everything everywhere. So, this is just a short discussion about what went into that class, why I made it, and all that jazz. All right. So, I think it was somewhere in college and then throughout seminary, I started asking just some general questions. You know, when you go through Bible school and then you go through seminary, you're taught to take the Bible very seriously. And I sought to do that. And as I did, I started dipping a bit into the original Hebrew or Greek uh, translations of the Old and New Testament. And it was fascinating because every so often I come across passages that I thought were overlooked. Passages that I think, I was like, hey, that's a pretty big one. It affects everything about how we talk about everyone. And it comes down to this basic idea. I started looking at passages in the New Testament, specifically, at least for this part, that said the word all and asked, what if all actually means all, you know, as in Adam, all die, but in Christ, all will be made alive. What does it mean that God will be all in all? What does it mean to say that there is the reconciliation of all? What does it mean to say that Peter talks about the restoration of all. And even Jesus talks about the regenesis, the regenerating of all. And so like, wait a second. And then I started doing some research on my own because I would go to pastors and I'd go to other people and I would ask them about these passages. And my goodness, like seriously, some of them would say, that's in there? I didn't know that was in there. For we know that Christ is the uh, propitiation, not only for our sins, but for the whole cosmos. Like, wait a second. What do you mean? What does it mean that Hebrews says that Christ died once for all? Like, uh, what? What's going on here? And so I had to do this research on my own. And what I found is I started going back through church history and found that there really was a consistent narrative of, or, or let's say a thread of people throughout church history that believed this is actually good news about everyone and everything everywhere. And some people take the gospel in a way that they really just mean it as good advice. Come follow Jesus and you won't burn in hell. That's good advice. That's not good news. Good news is to say Christ has defeated hell and death and sin on behalf of all. What does it mean to say that actually a better translation of Philippians 2 is that one day every knee will bow and every tongue will openly and joyfully profess without reservation that Jesus is Lord? Maybe it's because this whole gospel is about an infinite love and grace and mercy that is so powerful it knows how to rescue everyone and everything everywhere. And then I found, oh, it's actually in there. <laughs> and so oh, when you make that mental shift and you start looking at these passages, you start to see it everywhere. The woman searches for the coin until it's found. He leaves the 99 until he finds the one and brings it back. What does it mean to say that the gates of the new Jerusalem will never be closed? And that after hell and death are thrown into the lake of fire, it doesn't actually say that anyone was actually thrown in. It just says Anyone whose name is not written in the Lamb's Book of Life will be thrown in. But what if everyone's name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life? Why is it that there are people walking around outside of the New Jerusalem until they wash their clothes and come on in? Why is it that Malachi talks about the day of the Lord is like laundry day 
and a refiner's fire that burns off the impurities. Why is it that Jesus says, everyone will be salted with fire? What if our understanding of the gospel could be more biblical and that for it to be more biblical means for it to include the reconciliation, restoration, renewal, regeneration, rescue and repair and the reclaiming of everyone and everything everywhere. When the son of man is lifted up, he will drag all people to himself. So I made a class about that because <laughs> I didn't see many people talking about it. So I made something close to 30 videos and it's up online for sale right now for 15 bucks. And I left the link right here. I hope you check it out. And even if you don't check it out, just watch the free videos that are already up and uh, sign up for my weekly free newsletter. Cheers. I hope you have a great one.